13 Natural Remedies for Severe Asthma If you have severe asthma and your regular medications don't seem to be providing the relief you need, you may be curious whether there's anything else you can do to cope with your symptoms. Some natural remedies may be able to ease your symptoms, reduce the amount of medication you need to take, and generally improve the quality of your life. These remedies work best when taken alongside your usual prescribed asthma medications. Here are 13 complementary therapies you can try for your asthma. 1. Dietary changes Although there's no specific diet for people with severe asthma, there are a few steps you can take that may help with your symptoms. Being overweight can often worsen severe asthma. It's important to maintain a healthy and balanced diet, which includes plenty of fruits and vegetables. These are good sources of antioxidants like beta-carotene and vitamins C and E, and they may help to reduce inflammation around your airways. If you experience a flare-up in asthma symptoms after eating certain foods, try to avoid eating them. It's possible that you have a food allergy that's causing your symptoms to worsen. Talk to your doctor to confirm this. 2. Buteco Breathing Technique The Buteco Breathing Technique BBT, is a system of breathing exercises. It may be able to help reduce your asthma symptoms through slow, gentle breathing. BBT focuses on breathing out of your nose instead of your mouth. Breathing out of your mouth can dry out your airways and make them more sensitive. Some people may experience less respiratory infections from using this technique. Others who practice BBT believe that it helps to raise your carbon dioxide levels. Still, there isn't conclusive evidence to support this theory. 3. Papworth Method The Papworth Method is a breathing and relaxation technique that has been used since the 1960s to help people with asthma. It involves using your nose and diaphragm to develop breathing patterns. You can then apply these breathing patterns to various activities that may cause your asthma to flare up. A training course is usually recommended before adopting the exercises as part of your daily routine. 4. Garlic Garlic has several health benefits, including anti-inflammatory properties, according to a 2013 study. Because asthma is an inflammatory disease, garlic may be able to help relieve your symptoms. Still, there's no conclusive evidence that garlic is effective against preventing asthma flare-ups. 5. Ginger Ginger is another herb that contains anti-inflammatory properties and may help with severe asthma. A 2013 study showed that oral ginger supplements were linked to an improvement in asthma symptoms. But it didn't confirm that ginger leads to an improvement in overall lung function. 6. Honey Honey is frequently used in cold remedies to help soothe the throat and reduce coughing. You can mix honey with a hot beverage like herbal tea to provide relief for your symptoms. Still, there's limited trusted source scientific evidence that honey should be used as an alternative asthma treatment. 7. Omega-3 oils Omega-3 oils, which can be found in fish and flax seeds, have been shown to have many health benefits. They may also work to decrease airway inflammation and improve lung function in people with severe asthma. High doses of oral steroids, though, can block the beneficial effects of omega-3 oils. It's a good idea to check with your doctor before upping your intake of omega-3. 8. Caffeine Caffeine is a bronchodilator and can reduce respiratory muscle fatigue. A 2010 study trusted source showed that caffeine can be effective for people with asthma. It may be able to improve the function of airways for up to 4 hours after consumption. 9. Yoga Yoga incorporates stretching and breathing exercises to help boost flexibility and increase your overall fitness. For many people, practicing yoga can decrease stress, which may trigger your asthma. The breathing techniques utilized in yoga may also help to reduce the frequency of asthma attacks. However, there isn't currently any conclusive evidence to prove this. 10. Hypnotherapy In hypnotherapy, hypnosis is used to make a person more relaxed and open to new ways to think, feel, and behave. Hypnotherapy may help facilitate muscle relaxation, which may help people with asthma cope with symptoms like chest tightness. 11. Mindfulness Mindfulness is a type of meditation that focuses on how the mind and the body are feeling in the present moment. It can be practiced almost anywhere. All that you need is a quiet place to sit down, close your eyes, and focus your attention on the thoughts, feelings, and sensations in your body. Because of its stress-relieving benefits, mindfulness can help to complement your prescription medication and relieve stress-related asthma symptoms. 12. Acupuncture Acupuncture is a form of ancient Chinese medicine that involves placing small needles into specific points on the body. 
Long-term benefits of acupuncture have not yet been proven to be effective against asthma. But some people with asthma do find that acupuncture helps to improve airflow and manage symptoms like chest pain. 13. Speleotherapy Speleotherapy involves spending time in a salt room to introduce tiny particles of salt into the respiratory system. There is currently no scientific evidence to prove that speleotherapy is an effective form of treatment against asthma, but one study trusted source did show that it had a beneficial effect on short-term lung function. Some of these natural remedies may be able to help reduce asthma symptoms. But you should still adhere to the medications your doctor prescribes. Plus, many of these have limited or no evidence that they work for asthma. Check with your doctor before trying out a new complementary therapy. If you start to notice any new side effects, stop taking or using it right away.